Hello Booktube, for the tag I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be doing the... Hmm, bookshelf book tag. <laughs> Sorry, I had to scroll up to see who, um, that information. So, the bookshelf book tag was created by Serena of Wondering Mind, and I will leave a link to her channel down below. And I saw this video first on Bookish. Uh, he did the video, or he did the tag yesterday, so I'll leave a link to his video down below as well. So question number one. How many bookshelves do you have? Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten bookshelves or bookcases. Question number two. How many books are on your bookshelves? Or how many books do you think you have? I have about 720 books. I think slightly less. It's like 718, 719. Um, and that's not in counting, counting books that have come in or are on the new bookshelf right here. Like where I put the new books. Because I'll log them into my personal libraries. I have a little Word document where I list all the books I have. And I do that at the end of every month. Largely so I could do, um, it's, I used to do this because a lot of those books were science fiction and fantasy. And um, since I, or how I organize my, or how I organize my science fiction, basically necessitated a lot of rearranging every time I added books to the shelves. So I decided it would just make more sense to do it all at once rather than doing it once I got a new book in. And then once I started cataloging the books I own, it all just kind of worked out. And of course, now that I'm on BookTube, uh, waiting for that one big monthly book haul, again, it just works out. Uh, number three, how do you organize your books? Um, right now, in no particular order. Um, I do have the literary, realistic, and general fiction over here. They are currently organized in alphabetical order. I or reorganized them and I moved them from where they were to over here. Um, before that, they weren't in any particular order. The science fiction are organized I mean, so well let me back up so basically i've broken down my collection into broad groups uh, the writing books are in my are on some shelves at my desk i have some general fiction or general nonfiction up on this shelf up here next to the classics which will probably end up getting broken apart and then there's the century sort of classic reprints which I'll probably break them up too and then I have poetry um, and then I have like science fiction uh, general fiction and history as sort of their own separate things and then I have a assortment over here um, so I've already talked about the literary, general, realistic, and general fiction. So science fiction, I used to um, sort alphabetically by author as well. And then when I rearranged my room, that kind of fell apart because I had to move all of the books and then I just decided to put them willy-nilly. Although once I... But I'm thinking of switching where... The history books are and where the science fiction books are and the history books aren't particularly ordered either um i'll probably when i rearrange them i will reorganize them alphabetically um i do like that sort of that the structure of alphabetical also because on, on how much time i have to try to hunt them down and that can sometimes be a pain particularly the science fiction fantasy since they have so much of it uh, question number four. What is the oldest book on your bookshelf? I'm going to say it's either a history 
of the Holy Roman Empire by Trevor Bryce or the works of Haggard that I showed you in the Haggard and the um, classic reprints because that came out in 22 and I need to check the uh, Holy Roman Empire book see when it came out so it's one of those two number five what is the newest book on your bookshelf uh, Ambergris uh, the omnibus by Jeff Vandermeer and the blade between by Sam J Miller uh, they are new releases that came out in December December 1st and I have them so they're the newest books not the newest books to be added to the collection I've had books come in since then but those are publishing date the newest and spoiler alert for uh, December book haul number six what is the longest book on your bookshelf I'm going to say it's Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson I'm pretty dang sure although it could be one of the um, literary criticism anthologies I think those are pretty long as well what is the shortest book on your bookshelf that is question number seven oh, probably voluntary servitude by Mark Wunderlich or the Sappho poetry collection I think both of them are like barely over a hundred pages question number eight what is the predominant genre on your bookshelf science fiction and fantasy I have one two three four so I have four uh, bookshelves devoted to science fiction and fantasy uh, one of which is double-sided so yeah it's by far science fiction and fantasy with history coming in as a uh, distant second <laughs> question number nine do you have oh have you done a bookshelf tour I'm currently in the middle of one and I did one last year too question number ten go on a random number generator and talk about the book that corresponds with that number oh I forgot about this question let's do that real quick uh, I'm not entirely sure how to do that one at the moment oops I will do this um, addendum for weekly reads I'll have an like so check back with weekly reads and I'll have um, that book done I completely forgot about this question I'm sorry <laughs> uh, question number 11 do you have fan merch or any other decoration on your bookshelf uh, yes um, so over here on these two bookcases I have a, a globe and then another globe which I use to bookend the new books coming in but I'm thinking eventually um, books are going to go up onto these tiers so um, this book this globe here will probably work as a pretty good bookend over there um, this one kind of sort of sucks as a bookend um, and then over on this shelf here I uh, I have some paintings which I'll show you when I um, show you my bookshelves in the next question so show us your bookshelves so this is might be a bumpy ride because I'm I don't do editing so I'm gonna have to pick you up and oh that's not going to work so anyway you'll still see me so anyway ooh, bad idea sorry so there's bookshelf with literary fiction, realistic fiction, and 
general fiction. There's the other bookshelf, which I'm not entirely sure. I think science fiction will probably eventually go there. Right now it's holding uh, Christmas presents. So then we have some science fiction and fantasy. This will probably start the history shelves eventually. More science fiction and fantasy. More science fiction and fantasy. Some art. Really like this one. That's my favorite. Uh, more science fiction and fantasy. History. Yeah. Okay. So for the final question, it's to tag someone. And... And so if you would like to do this tag, consider your, yourselves tag, tagged. I will see you in a few hours with weekly reads. And until then, have a great afternoon and stay safe. And quite sorry if I look like a Gorgon more than I usually do. <laughs> anyway, BookTube, see you later with weekly reads.